What's going on guys, this is Ryan from The Real Strike and today I wanted to do a little sit down video and go over some of my favorite fishing accessories. So obviously we talk about a lot of our gear, you know, our fishing rods, our reels, line, leader, terminal tackle and all that, but I haven't really stopped to talk about the accessories that we usually take with us on our fishing trips. So the goal of this video is to expose you to the accessories that we personally carry on us whenever we go fishing so that maybe uh, we can spark some ideas within you and maybe you can check out some of these products yourself if you're interested. Just a reminder, all of those products that you see in the video will be linked down below in the description. So that's where you can go if you wanna check them out. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so one of the most important things for most fishermen is to have a solid set of pliers. So obviously fishing pliers are important for a variety of reasons, most importantly to kind of uh, remove the hook from fish after you catch them but not all fishing pliers are made equally. Now pliers are a little bit tricky because you can get them at almost any tackle store and you might be tempted to spend five or $10 on a pair of pliers and most of the time they're not really that good. They rust up after a few uses, they don't have that many features. So pliers can be a bit tricky and I've been kind of shopping around for a good pair and I think I found one. These are the Booms Fishing X1 fishing pliers. It's an aluminum body and I think that they work very well. So what exactly makes a good set of pliers? First of all, uh, they need to be made out of either aluminum or stainless steel, something that does not corrode very easily when it's exposed to salt water. Since we do a lot of salt water fishing, that's important to us. What I also like about these pliers is they have these grooved jaws. And what that allows you to do is it, it allows the pliers to easily grasp the shank of the hook. It's kind of like a slot for the hook to, to rest on the jaws of the pliers. Uh, it adds for better grip. These pliers also have a line snipper that can easily cut through any sort of line. Uh, it can even cut through braided line, which is a good feature to have. There's also this pointed edge at the end of the jaws. That's to open up split rings, which is pretty useful if you're trying to replace some of the treble hooks on one of your lures. There's also an area on the jaws that allows you to crimp down split shot weights, which I think is pretty cool because sometimes split shot weights can't be easily pressed down with your fingers. And then finally, it comes with its own lanyard. So you get all of that in this one package. Again, the Booms X1 fishing pliers. Uh, these only cost $20, and I think that it's a pretty solid investment. If you take care of these pliers, uh, you know, rinse them off after you use them every time, uh, store them in a, in a well-regulated environment, I think that these fishing pliers can last you a very long time. And personally, after my use, uh, over the past few months, I would personally recommend them. The next accessory I would recommend are the Runkle Fish Dehookers. Now what this thing actually does, its sole purpose is to help you dehook fish. So after you catch them, you have the hook in them. And it, this is a tool that is specifically to remove the hook out of the fish that you catch. Now you might ask, well, if I have pliers, then why do I need a dehooker? And the simple thing is that you're not always going to be in a situation where the hook is easy to remove. Obviously, the easiest way to remove a hook is if, you know, the hook is attached to the corner of the fish's mouth, but that's not always the case. You, sometimes you get uh, the fish gut hooked and you want to obviously try and save the fish. And that means you have to stick a pair of pliers very far down that fish's mouth. And if that fish is, is relatively small, like a mangrove snapper, that's going to be very difficult. The cool thing about these Runkle D hookers is that they are very, very thin. So you can fit this down into a small fish's mouth and potentially save the fish being able to grab the hook, you know, after it's been gut hooked. The way it works is it has this handle here. It's pretty ergonomic. And all you got to do is push down on the handle and you have this hook at the end uh, and essentially you just pull down on the handle. The hook closes towards you and that allows you to grab the hook. So yeah, it's a pretty neat little accessory. Um, it only costs 17 to $18. And I think that this is just a good thing to have on you whenever you're in a situation where you have a gut hooked fish or maybe pliers just aren't doing the job. Now, another nice thing to have on you when you go fishing is a hook cutter. So this is kind of an emergency tool that again, I think is just really, really important. And this will come in handy if you're ever in the unfortunate situation where you get hooked. Now the problem with getting hooked is that if you ever have the hook enter your skin, uh, you basically have to push that hook all the way through because hooks obviously have a barb that prevents it from just being pulled right back out from where it came from. Now the benefit of a hook cutter is once you push that hook through your skin, you can actually cut the barb off 
and then you can just slide the hook back from where it entered your skin. So this is a nice thing to have on you in case of emergency. Maybe you're offshore doing some mahi fishing, you get hooked, you don't want to waste the day and, and have to go back in uh, and go to the hospital. You can instead have these hook cutters and you know remove the hook there. Obviously, uh, treat the wound however uh, you see fit, but uh, this is something good to have in case of emergency. I really think that this is a good tool that you should have. The specific ones I got are the Booms Fishing uh, Hook Cutters. Uh, those actually aren't available right now on Amazon, so I'm just gonna link a few others that I was looking at before the purchase. I'll make sure they have good reviews and feel free to look over the listings yourself. The next accessory I really like are soft plastic tackle binders. So essentially there are a lot of different companies out there that sell these little tackle binders and what they do is they hold all of your soft plastic baits in these little Ziploc bags. So you know I have some some rigs, some uh, fishing scent, and then I have a lot of different soft plastic baits. Soft plastic baits usually come in a Ziploc of their own, but if you want to keep them all in one collected place, uh, soft plastic tackle binders I think really come in handy. To wrap up this video, I'm going to go over a few clothing accessories. The first thing I'd like to talk about is a sunglass holder strap. Um, you know, I've, I've never really been a fan of these types of things. I just think that they, they kind of get in a way, they hang, you know, at the back of your, at the back of your head. However, I had an experience a few weeks ago where I'm on the boat, I'm not really paying attention, and my hat with my glasses on top, like I usually have them, fly off and I lose my glasses. Luckily recovered the hat though. Now to prevent something like that from happening to you, either A, don't be an idiot like me, or B, consider getting a sunglass holder strap. Just for some reference, these holder straps allow you to kind of, whenever you're not using the sunglasses, just have them lying here on your neck. Uh, they can be pretty secure, obviously, depending on the type of strap that you get, but I just like them. It's, it's an added sense of security, and after having my sunglasses fly off of my head on the boat the other day, you know, these are a must-have for me from this point forward. Now, these straps, uh, you can get them for very cheap. In fact, I have a lot that I got you know, just at like the boat show, for example, that they just gave out for free. Uh, but you can also spend a decent amount of money for a quality pair. So I'll leave a few links down below in the description. Finally, the last accessory that I'm gonna recommend are the face shields that you can get for fishing. This is very effective for protecting your face from the sun, uh, holding your hat down whenever you're going on the boat so you don't lose your hat like me. I personally like to wear the face shield where I pull it up over my head and then I tuck it under my nose like that and you can wear it like a mask, you put your hat up on top and your sunglasses over and you look like a heck of a fisherman. So you can see it covers your face pretty well, protects your neck, your ears, your nose, you have your hat and glasses on top and you're basically protected from the elements. So that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I just wanted to make you guys aware of some of the accessories that I personally use that maybe you haven't thought of yourself. A reminder that all of the product links that I can find will be in the description below where you can check them out yourself. Also, if there are any fishing accessories that I didn't talk about in this video that you think should have been, uh, feel free to leave any ideas in the comments below. And again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.